Okay, welcome to um, this beard that is between my legs. I'd say put your beard on your wig head, pin it down if you can. If you have like straight pins, put some pins in it. And then since you don't have a wig stand, just holding it between your legs and your lap is perfectly fine. With this size curling iron um, that you have, you're not gonna get a whole lot of texture. You're mostly gonna be able to just kind of curl some ends under. So if you take small pieces, and I know that the length of your beard might be a little bit shorter than what I have, but you kind of can just like curl the ends under. The other thing you can do is wrap it around your barrel and you can do different directions, which will give you different varying types of movement. Some going that way, some going the other way. Uh, yeah, this beard is super ratty, <laughs> super rough. The one that you bought is in much nicer shape. But the smaller the section, the better. You can do some wrapped this way. And just be careful. I've got my heat on medium or about, so it's not quite as hot as it can go. But that'll give you a little bit of movement. The other thing you can do is if you have straight pins, I'm going to use T-pins, but this is what's called a T-pin set. And it's when you just kind of move the hair in a direction and pin it in place. And then you can go back the other way and you're just creating little zigzags in your hair. And you can do that going different ways. You don't want to create too many gaps in your facial hair. But this would be a, a way to get some texture in. I know braiding might be a little, it might be a little too short to really braid it. But this is what we would do. I've done this with wigs. I've done this with facial hair. And then you can spray this with water, let it dry. And then when you take it out, you're going to have some like crazy messed up. You can just like run your fingers through that and then take your curling iron and just curl the ends under. And it'll at least make the edges of your beard neat and tidy, kind of like that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. This is hard in your lap. <laughs> this is hard to do. But there's that side. So yeah, you can kind of just at least clean up the edges. You can put some texture in there. You can get some boys kind of fluffing out if you want. But that's about all you can do with this size curling iron. Now, I'm gonna show you what I usually use. Grabbing the phone. Okay, so welcome to my very, very messy wig shop here in merry old Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Over here is my Marcel oven. This is what I use with facial hair, and I've got varying sizes of irons. So like this guy is rather big. And I've got other ones that are smaller and they just kind of heat up inside the oven. And then when they're hot, I test them on a piece of paper so that they're not burning. And then I, uh, yeah, I use that to style. So best of luck. I hope you can either find someone in your area, <laughs> in your area or, um, or yeah, I don't know how to turn the camera around. I'm not very tech savvy. No, no. Okay. Well, yeah, I hope you can find an artist in your area or I hope that some of that styling made sense. You said you're pretty great with a curling iron. So, I mean, yeah, just try and get some movement in there. 
and keep me posted.